Hello and welcome. I'm very excited to be bringing you this video. I'm going to show you how you get paid to earn this car. So stay tuned. Lots of tips. You got to do this right from the beginning to end for this to work. But this is possible with no upgrades at all, plus all the earnings you make along the way, plus all the rewards along the way. So it's incredible. So the first race here obviously it's quite easy there's average speed but you don't really need to be going that fast remember we want to finish with as little as possible so if i wanted to i could have turned around and gone the wrong way for a while i didn't think that was necessary because the average speed is so low that i'm able to drag this race out a bit so you want to make sure you don't finish too fast this is all about bot management and target management if you're new to that, we're going to get into this in a bit. If you're not new to that, well, stay tuned because there's lots of good racing coming up. So I'm just finishing this, you know, I'm dragging it out a little bit, but not too much because it's really not that necessary. Like I'm not going very fast. So the game isn't anticipating me to be finishing this lap really much slower than I did. And I mean, you have to get first place, no choice there. Now, tailgating is different than drafting or slipstreaming. So we don't have to get too close to this guy, meaning whichever guy I decide to slipstream, which will be the last guy, because for bot management and target management, we want to finish as far back as possible. So I just need to stay behind this guy's front bumper. My front bumper has to be behind his front bumper. That's it, then we're tailgating. Now it did say no damage, so uh, I'm not gonna push that too much. That's why you don't see me slipstreaming very much because He's gonna nail the brakes at weird moments. And yeah, if you're not anticipating it, you're gonna smash into him. That car, it's, it's got a very fast acceleration, but not the greatest cornering. So here you see me getting in front of him. This is the section where I can get a lot in because I'm a superior car to him. So I'm just gonna feather my throttle. See that, watch my throttle. I'm feathering it, keeping my front bumper behind his front bumper. This is tailgating. I just have to be behind him. I, it, do, it doesn't sound right because usually tailgating you think of being behind someone but you don't have to be technically i'm behind him right if we finish the race i would be 11th he would be 10th so technically i am behind him as far as finishing the race and yeah i, I could sit here and waste a bunch of time again the game's not anticipating me to finish this lap very fast as it is like if i drag it out an extra five seconds i don't think that's a benefit because i already finished in 10th place which is gonna keep the bots slow. So remember, the principle works. Uh, if you finish with a huge lead, it's gonna get more difficult. Anytime you podium, meaning first, second, or third, it's going to get more difficult. So if possible, finishing like eighth place or back is best. You can't always control that. So what am I doing here? Well, I don't wanna finish very far up. Just gonna wait for this guy to go. Then I'm gonna back up a little bit here. And uh, because my timer didn't start, so I wanna get a really nice run at the start finish line. I'm not so sure how hard this is gonna be. We're actually going four times regular speed here. Uh, and then I'm about to go, and that's gonna give me, I'm gonna cross the start finish line at really good speed. So if this is difficult, um, I'm gonna have lots of time on the clock. Uh, if this is easy, well, I can waste time at the end of the lap. But this way, there's no one in front of me. I don't have to worry about anything, and I'll, I can finish in 10th place. I know that sounds counterintuitive. We usually want to finish as high up as possible. If you do that in these early stages, you're going to have to buy more upgrades. And that's fine. Buying R dollar upgrades, meaning stage one upgrades, not a big deal. I mean, almost everyone probably did that anyway. I just wanted to see if, can you do this? If you have no upgrades at all, if you're low on currency. Now, to be fair, we will be getting into some more difficult driving. And, oh, a lot of times people ask me my settings, so let's get into that. Uh, I have all my assists off, pretty well always. So for this whole event, all my assists are off. And I use tilt B controls, and I've recently switched to steering sensitivity zero. For probably five years, I was on steering sensitivity two. Now, steering sensitivity zero just feels best to me, so that's what I'm doing. So that gives me a lot of control. You can see that I like to feather the throttle. Lifting from the throttle and reapplying it allows me to regain my traction really quickly. Tilt A controls forces you to have full gas or full brakes. That's your only option. And in real life, you definitely don't do that. In real racing, you definitely don't do that. There's a lot of coasting. Oh, here we go, I'm catching up. Um, 
I took that kind of messy, so I'm just gonna finish. I'm finishing in 10th place. I don't feel the need to slow this down much. I could have, but that's okay. So that's stage one. That one's pretty easy. That's in the bank. Let's get on to stage two. All right, so here we go. We've got uh, dual slipstreaming uh, requirements here. We've got to draft for 2835 meters, 2835 meters, and lead a draft or a slipstream for five seconds. So generally what I like to do in this type of a, of, a, of a race, oh gosh, pardon me guys, stumbling a little bit here, I like to get to the position I need to get to right away. So I won't waste a lot of time with these guys. I might as well slipstream off this Bugatti because he's going to be pretty fast. Remember, he's going to be on the brakes super early because he's a super fast car, just like we are. And I might have been on the brakes too late. Yep, throw it sideways and get on the gas. That's a way to actually make all-wheel drive cars brake quicker. I'm pretty sure this is all-wheel drive. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure most of these super fast cars are. So like I said, I'm not going to waste a lot of time with these guys. I'm just going to get around them pretty quick. He's a Bugatti, so I'll hook up with him for a bit. Some of the cars are so slow, it's just not worth your while. Ooh, so drift around him. That's kind of fun, isn't it? And again, I'm, well, I shouldn't say again, because I didn't say it yet. I definitely have to get on the brakes pretty early in this car. Uh, it has good brakes. Like, these brakes are okay. It's just so fast. So it makes you feel like it has bad grip and bad grapes. Grapes, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, my car has bad grapes. I'm gonna drive over a bunch until I get wine. Sorry guys, I'm just, uh, like I said, I had a little uh, teaser video out there and I was running this quite late and now I'm making this video quite early. Uh, I got enough sleep, I'm good. So don't, don't hear me, don't get me wrong, I'm fine. But uh, anyway, so I've already got my leading in by just being careful with where I was driving. Don't know if you saw that happen there. Got my five seconds in, get my slip streaming in here. And then I can get on to the next requirement, which I had a double check on. Five seconds, and I got to finish in fifth place. Okay, so that's my last requirement. So I can just coast around with this guy a little bit. Um, the person behind me isn't pushing too much. No. So a little bit of drifting around this car. Woo, better be careful. Don't want to slam the door too quickly on that uh, Sharon, I believe. I mean, it says right on his back, backside there. It's funny, once in a while, I get nervous. It's like, oh, this is a multi-million dollar car I'm racing against. And then sometimes I just go, wait a second, I can just do the pit maneuver on these cars and have some fun without consequences. But, oopsie, there's consequences. Oh boy, there's consequences. Obviously, I'm still getting used to this car. Uh, but anyway, I'm not gonna do a lot of wrecking. I've been transitioning more so to clean driving. So for this event, certain stages where I could be doing a lot of off track, I'm not necessarily going to do that. I'm going to wait until that becomes more of a need versus I'm bored and I just want to do it. So I'm going to give you guys more clean racing because I know some people are major sticklers for you have to be all on track all the time. And like even this probably makes some people mad. My right sides went over onto the green. Uh, in this game, that's of no consequence. And I'm pretty sure, well, it depends on the racing organization you're dealing with. Some of them don't care if you've got two tires on the other side of a curb, as long as some tires are inside. It depends. I do notice though, sometimes people who really harp on on track, off track, don't really know racing as much as they think they do. Because sometimes I go check things out and it's like, huh, last corner of Spa, people were going way over the curb. Okay, let's get into that. What am I doing? Well, I need to save some time because I was finding this stage a little bit more difficult. So to take that corner properly took longer than to do what I just did. And I'm, then gonna, I'm definitely gonna do a cut through this and try to watch my uh, time there. Okay, I've got, oh, really? I thought I would have used half my off track time by now. Well, sweet. Okay, so there's a drifting component. I'm not gonna worry about the drifting component much until I'm getting near to the position that I need to get into. So, cause drifting's gonna slow me down a little bit. Not much, but it's gonna slow me down a bit. So you can see here, I'm, I'll do a little bit of sliding around, but most of it is not intentional. Uh, I'm trying to keep this car hooked up with the track because that's where I get my maximum acceleration, a little bit slipping out there. And then I'm gonna save off track for the last chicane. Well, that's gotta be a Veyron with a big wing that can uh, move around, I'm pretty sure. 
lots of supercars in this series and uh, it seems really random uh, if you restart an event restart a race it's quite random as far as the cars that the competition will end up in so here you go if you do this too fast it's a disaster I'm on the gas just before I hit that wall so I can bounce off nice and clean sounds crazy doesn't it so my second lap that's where I'm gonna be getting in a lot of the slip streaming oh I didn't mean to tag him okay we're gonna cut under here and I still have lots of off track left well, that's great if I need it I can still use it that's fabulous okay Double checking the position I have to get into. Got to get into position three. So let's just see what this looks like. I'd like to see position three before I start doing a lot of slip streaming. I drove that in a little bit deep, but I might as well get a whoopsie. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, let's get hooked up to the track then. Little bit here and there, because 10 seconds is a lot to get in. But for the most part, I want to be, oh, there you go. I got a little flash of a distance marker indicating how far behind I am. So. Usually you get that, well, no, at this point I should only see it if I'm 150 meters or less. I think that's right. It's only when you're in, anyway, pretty sure that's how this works. But then again, I could be wrong because I don't see him. There he is. I know what I'm thinking of. I'm, oops, I'm thinking of when a bot is catching up to you. So once you get to have a lead of about 150 meters, that's when you stop seeing your distance marker between you and the place behind you, unless you're in first place. Then it's gonna show it to you pretty well indefinitely unless you're really on a strange corner away from someone. Not sure why it works that way. Okay, so I've got everything in here, and now I just have to stay in position three. Ah, an Aston Martin Vulcan, that's interesting. Good acceleration, but of course, top speed nowhere near what we've got. So that could be a problem later on. So here I'm just letting the fourth place car catch up because I don't want to finish with a big lead. Even though I'm in third, I don't want to finish with a big lead. Okay, finish each lap in 122. Or finish one lap in one, no, each lap in 122. All right, so am I alone in this race? I think I am. I think this is just me. And I really didn't have, I don't think I had enough time to slam on the brakes and sit there and wait. Uh, so this is just about staying hooked up with the track. Don't slide around a lot. Get your steering in early. Get on the gas early. Get on the brakes early. Bunch of earlies, right? This corner really tripped me up for years. Now yeah, that wasn't great, but it's okay. Just at the banner here, I'm on the brakes just after that banner as I'm going under it. On the gas here pretty early. Uh, this corner, I'm definitely getting on the brakes earlier than I normally would to take it properly. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, actually. And this corner is full throttle on some cars. Definitely not on this one. Got to watch that wall. And here, getting on the brakes earlier than normal. Prob I mean, I was on the brakes there probably a good four car lengths early. Too early, actually. But I'm still learning the car. I've never driven this car before. It feels pretty similar to the, to the regular Yesco. But not sure. Haven't pushed it to its limits yet. Not totally there. That would have been off track. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, though. Sometimes this game only considers you off track when, uh, like, the two left sides are off track on that last chicane. So it might not have considered that off track. Not a big deal, honestly. Like, what I usually say to people is, if you don't want to drive off track at all, no problem. I completely respect that. Buy more upgrades. And that's fine. If you want to do that, do that. That's great. This is about getting it as cheap as possible. So if you want to keep it all on track and spend more money, I am fine with that. I'm probably going to fully upgrade this car. So I will see. I actually, I'll probably wait and see if there's a sale. Yeah, it's expensive to fully upgrade this car. I'm pretty sure. But uh, we'll not going to do any upgrades. So we'll see how creative I have to get to pull that off. And yes, I'll give you lots of tips. I'll explain what I'm doing along the way. So it helps to, to not just see what I'm doing, but to understand what I'm doing. Because sometimes you, you can't really see what I'm doing sometimes. You don't really know how am I tilting the device or why am I doing what I'm doing. Those kinds of things. All sorts of time on the clock here. And yeah, not, not a big deal. I'm not, too, I'm not being too careful here. 113. So I could drag this out a little bit, but I don't want to repeat this again. So 120, yeah, that's good enough. 
Okay. And there we go on to the last race of stage two. Need to have a big lead. That's what I don't like to see because that's what's going to increase bot difficulty. So where are we starting here? Eighth place. Okay, well that makes me a little bit nervous. So I might start, oopsie. I might start getting, uh, pushing this right off the start. There's lawnmower mode and then there's hyper lawnmower mode. Oopsie, again oopsie. I should have been on the inside of that guy. I'm gonna cut this. Not very much though. I, I'm not sure how hard this is going to be and I don't wanna do this race again and again and again. So yes, finishing in first place is gonna increase bot difficulty and targets going forward. Finishing with a big lead will do it even more, but that's what we've gotta do. I went into that a little bit too deep. Oh boy, I'm just kind of snaking all over the place here. So you might think this car's loose, but if I've got it pointed in the right direction, it's honestly not bad. It's not like, um, well, Lamborghini Diablo. That is one of the loosest, oops, that's one of the loosest cars in the game. It does have horrible brakes. The grip is way too low for a car like that. I mean, it, it is a vastly overpowered car. So it's uh, that's a car that feels horrible to me. This one does not feel like that. Uh, the brakes on this one are definitely much better than a Lamborghini Diablo. Okay, so I'm already in fourth place. One more lap to go. I'm not going to hyper lawnmower mode this. Uh, lawnmower mode is what I call it when you cut across the grass. And I did a little bit there. There's a huge cut I could take right here. And I'm not doing it yet. We'll see if I need it on my last lap. I'm definitely cutting this, which isn't lawnmower mode because there was no lawn. <laughs> so it was just track cutting mode. Okay, well, third place. There's second place. Maybe this isn't going to be too difficult. What is that? Oh, that's a Porsche. Definitely has better brakes. Ah, I guess I was on the brakes way too early. Well, there's first place actually right there. Well, that's kind of surprising. I thought this was going to, going to be a lot more difficult. Oh, but I need a huge lead. Okay, pit maneuver. Because that is a fast car. Pit maneuver. There we go. And that way, if the Porsche caps, catches up, I'm okay. Although I'm not going to know if the Bugatti overtakes the Porsche. I'm not going to know what happens. I did that just to make sure that I've got enough of a lead. Now, the secret to doing a pit maneuver without getting damaged, if you go back and watch that, you'll notice that... Oh, well, forget it. I'm, ho I'm to horribly damaged. Oh, well, never mind that. You can do a pit maneuver without damage by lifting off the throttle right as you go to gently turn your competition. But I'm already totally damaged, so whatever. Okay, I'm kind of nervous about my lead. Oh, especially when I do that. My lead's disappearing very quickly. Okay, let's go hyper lawnmower mode. This is going to drive some people crazy. Woo, cutting the grass. Cutting this. Woo, almost hitting the wall. And still don't have enough. Oh, wait, now I have lots. Or do I have lots? What is the... Okay, 502.9. Okay, let's give some back. And he's catching up. I better go. So, wait, no. Oh, whatever. Well, I did it. That's fine. Okay, stage two is in the bank. Let's get on to stage three. We are at Spa, where things can get more interesting. Speed requirement. So, you just have to... to when you hit target speed... This isn't the target speed one, is it? No, average speed. Okay, not too difficult because this car is ridiculously fast. Well, I guess it depends what they set the target to. Got to be careful because he's going to break here. We're going to have to break a little bit here. Where's my target? To what? What was it? 217? 218? Oh, way more than that. Oh, no, not too much more. Okay, now there's hyper lawnmower mode you could take right here. But let's just see if we have to. I don't think you have to. So I'm not going to do that unless I have to. I'd like to show you guys how you can do this more legitimately. And we'll just see. So keeping that average speed up. I think I'm braking way too early. Yeah, I think so. Now in a car like this, you are not going to be taking this section full throttle. As far as uh, what I'm referring to is Eau Rouge Radion. Definitely not taking this full throttle. So you want to get on the brakes early so you can really blast through this and power up Camel. This section's called Kemmel, if you're not familiar with it. And then the corner at the top of the hill here is called Lacombe Corner. 
So, oops, came in there a little bit fast. Snaking around a little bit as I haven't really opt- mm, Nuts. I didn't mean to tag him. Well, that's annoying. I think I'm okay. If I'm not okay, I'm gonna do this anyway. I didn't sound like it was horrible cracks. Oh boy, we're all over the place. And heading into Puwan Corner. Definitely don't want to wash off the track here because you'll end up way out there. That wasn't bad. Often if you go off the track of that corner, you go so far off because the walls are so far away, which is very annoying. There we go, I didn't tag him. Don't want to tag him. I have to be in eighth place, right? Oh, well, there's a gaggle, so that should be no problem at all. A little bit on the brakes, and then power. Lamborghini's gonna be going slow. Oh, it was a Huracan R3 spec. There's a limited series for that coming up in this update. And what do we have here? Whoa, we're going in here way too fast. Bugatti and a Bugatti. So I'm in a Bugatti sandwich. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna make him back up for me a little bit. No problem with the average speed, as you can see. I'm definitely a decent amount over. I can slow down a little bit and let the uh, ninth place car catch up. All right, getting this all done. Finish in third with slipstreaming or drafting. All depends kind of, it seems to depend where you watch racing. I, I think in North America that the term drafting is used a lot more, but it's the same thing. We all, we mean the exact same thing. Koenigsegg, you get a, some uh, slipstreaming off of him. That adds up so stinking fast. I don't know that I want to wait for him for the rest. Oh, I might as well follow him to Eau Rouge. I have to slow down a little bit. I don't want to hit him. That sounds so funny. I have to slow down to not hit a Koenigsegg. <laughs> and let's blast up here. So it's an elimination race, but you just have to finish in third. Now, strangely enough, I had to repeat this because the car behind me got eliminated in third place. Oh boy, I went into that way too deep. And I slowed down and he passed me and it failed me, even though it said he was eliminated. So I'll be a little bit more careful my second time around because I don't want to do this a third time. There's just no reason to do a stage like this a bunch of times. Now those guys are in a really tight sandwich. I kind of want to wait for the Koenigsegg to pass, but I don't really want to wait. Okay, so now I'm in third place and just have to let the timer do its work. I've met all my requirements. Don't really like having an Aston Martin in front of me and a Koenigsegg behind me, but oh well. I mean, the Aston Martin is pretty fast, but coming down this section is where he's gonna be a problem. But, well, we still have a good chunk of time. Okay, so I'm gonna wait till the timer hits zero and the guy, it says he's eliminated. Oh boy, he's right on my bumper, pretty close. Okay, I'm gonna wait, wait now. Oops, I didn't mean to tag him. Yes, yeah, turn this around. And I don't want to crash with the Aston Martin. Should be clear. Okay, so I want to finish in third place, but as far away from second place as possible. So that's why I'm going the wrong way, because I don't have to finish right behind him. This might help. Oh boy, that's disastrous, isn't it? I think that's going to help to keep the target slow, but okay, this is the one that gets tricky. You've got to be very strategic with this one. So, remember, you can hit speed multiple times in one section. You just have to slow down and speed up again. Now, I think you only have to slow down by five kilometers an hour to reset it. But with a car like this, I don't know, I'm gonna probably dip it by about 10. I don't think I can hit speed here. No, I can't. But I should be able to hit speed before Eau Rouge if I set this up properly. 338 is the target. So, man, look at that speed climb. And, oh yeah, no problem hitting it here once. Could have probably hit it here twice. Now I'm gonna hit it here a whole bunch of times. So I don't really wanna watch the traffic. I'm watching my speed. As soon as I hit, I lift for a bit. You could brake for a bit, but then you're gonna probably end up slowing down too much. And once more, and that's, go oh, five times. I was hoping for six. Well, we'll just see how this works. There is off track you could be using. I am, shouldn't need it. So we'll just see how this goes. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking the distance marker. I guess it's, I was thinking of the when you're leading distance marker, not when you're tailing. I'm glad they show us the tailing distance marker so much, so far back. Although now it doesn't show it to me. 
It's almost like it works the opposite. Okay, here I might be able to hit speed. Let's just see. There we go, I hit speed. Then you gotta throw it sideways though, because you'll end up flying off track if you don't. And then hitting speed twice, two more times. And down this section, you probably could hit it three times or more if you had to. So I gotta break a little bit here and then really power through this nicely. Hit speed. There we go, lift a little bit, do it again, and that's it. That's all I've got to worry about. And I'm pretty sure it's at third place, so I guess I just sit tight and finish the race like this. I'll let fourth place catch up a little bit, because that's a good idea to keep my lead not too huge. But I don't want him to get so close that I end up failing, because that's annoying. And yeah. There we go. That's how I did that race, which definitely will be giving some people trouble. All right, let's get on to the last race of stage three. Need to finish in at least second place. Oh, and this is the one where, yes, you got to sit here for 15 seconds. Okay, we're going four times regular speed because why would you want to sit here for 15 seconds and watch me? Not moving. You want to watch me moving. Okay, not sure how hard this is going to be, so I'm going to do some aggressive cutting going to do some aggressive lawnmower mode. We're going to be taking uh, two cuts at this track. Not going to cut Eau Rouge Randy on, even though I could. I'd rather stay controlled through that because this can be a very wild corner. So I'm going to keep that very controlled. But at the top of the hill, I'm going to slow down a bit and then cut the comb corner. And I, I can't, I couldn't take it full speed. I'm pretty sure. No, 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 definitely not. Even that was a bit dicey. And, oop, that's pretty good. And, oh, I'm surprised I'm catching up already. Very surprised. Okay, well, I still have to get all the way up to second. And so the rear of the field is no indicator of where second is. So I, I really don't know how hard this is going to be, so I might as well get through this fast. Ooh, getting off squirrely again at Puan Corner. There we go. Boy, I got a long ways to go. Some of these cars are going to be slow, which could definitely cause some problems. So you got mega cars like, oops, didn't mean to hit him. Um, you got the Regera up there. They're fast. Oh, they're trying to get around the Koenigseggs. Sorry, they're all Koenigseggs. Um, I forget which Koenigsegg that was. Regera and the other one. I can't remember. Uh, I'm sure I could look it up, but someone, there's a few of them here. Older, I'm not sure if that's an Agera or what that was. Didn't really get a good look at it. Let's go lawnmower mode, aggressive lawnmower mode. Now you gotta control this. Woo wee, woo wee. Bugattis, of course. Sixth place, so again, I, second place might be way out there. There's fifth and fourth. So, I mean, I don't know. I know there's other Yesco absolutes in this races, so I wanna blast bypass these guys really quickly here. Senna GTR. And whoa, that was unexpected. Don't expect to gain in a Bugatti that quickly. Okay, so maybe this isn't as bad as I think. But let's just see here. Oh, definitely not as bad as I thought. That's a Regera in uh, third place. Oh, well, off-track cuts might not have been needed because um, I'm already in second place. Okay, so I guess maybe I did good bot management and target management. Or maybe this just isn't a hard race because uh, I'm very comfortably in second place right now. Well, that's very interesting. Well, there we go. We'll just have a casual drive at Spa up in the, uh, the oops, up in the forest and the mountains. Doesn't really look like a forest, but you know, there's forest around. Lots of forest around in the background, you can see. And we'll power down the back of uh, Spa here, power down the hill, the mountain and get on to more racing. This corner you don't have to break for, but this one I'm pretty sure you have to or you're gonna go flying off track. I've got a, not a huge lead, so I'm gonna give some of that back and we'll just nicely finish this race off. Yeah, so you, you could try it without taking any cuts and see what that's like for you. Let me know if you give that a shot. Curious to hear what that's like for other people. But there we go, that's the, the cutting method. And what do we have here? There we go. That's the end of stage three. Let's get on to stage four. Where are we going to be? Ah, Daytona. That can get challenging. So you've got to hit speed four times. 
And what I'm opting to do is I'm gonna hit speed twice before the before corner one and then hit it twice again. So you gotta get so to get these first two, I gotta get one in before the start finish line. So this is tricky. Um, to hit speed here, he was kind of in my way. It wasn't if, if, if it was a slower car, I could have done this differently. But still, I'm gonna hit speed. I'm gonna brake a tiny bit and then hit speed again. And then I want to try to get, oh, I was on the brakes late, so I got to drift it, drift it, drift it. Ooh, little tag there. Not enough to damage me, I don't think. And, uh, oh, he's taking that fast. So I got to get through this traffic pretty quick. I'm in 12th place. So hitting speed two more times. Now at Daytona, there's definitely cuts you can be taking. Uh, again, I'm going to see how well I can do without taking those cuts. Now that was not an optimal way to take that corner. Oh, well. Here, this corner, I just found out recently, you can go way out here, like even further than I did. Like this is not off track, which most people don't. Now, to stay hooked up here, go up high, and then as you get through this corner, you gotta dip down low, and then exit high. And that's how you can really stay hooked up. Now I'm gonna blast through this, this chicane, uh, the bus stop here. I'm, I'm definitely gonna cut because I need to keep my speed up. Woo! I really can't be concerned too much about what position I'm in because I really need to be hitting speed. Now I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful here. Okay, as soon as I hit speed, I can hit the brakes. There we go, now I can let people catch up a little bit. Ah, there's not much I could do about that. So I finished higher than I had to, but that's okay. This one's interesting. Set the fastest lap without any damage. So I did some experimentation. It's actually, I found it advantageous to do your first lap slow. I don't know why, but it just seems like, I mean, this might be coincidence, but when I did my first lap slow, I found that the bots didn't quite finish as fast. There's another advantage to this. So I can't, so right now when I cross the start finish line, I, I already have to be on the brakes, right? To make it my, my corner one braking point. I've got to be on the brakes pretty early. So at the end of this lap, I have to break before the start finish line, which is going to eat into my time. However, at the end of the second lap, I'm not responsible for what the car does after the start finish line. So if it goes careening off track and smashes into walls and gets damaged, it doesn't matter. So I have the ability to do my fastest lap as my second lap, not my first lap, because I have to be on those brakes so early. And I was trying to do some wall braking and different things, but I would end up damaging my car. Now, I could easily do off-track cuts to make this lap quicker. I don't think it said no off-track. But we're gonna keep this on track. Now, I'm letting, I want these cars to pass me because I don't want anyone in my way. So that's what I'm kind of doing here is I'm just kind of letting these cars get ahead of me a little bit. And I really don't, don't want someone in my way. So I'm taking it easy, as you can see. I'm not going too fast. I don't want to catch that McLaren too quickly. And I'm just gonna hang back a little bit here and wait till these guys finish. I'll probably just come to a stop for just a little bit in the bus stop. Just wanna make sure I've got a good chunk of track to deal with. Uh, where do I wanna start my lap from? Like if I go too fast, I'm just gonna to have to get on the brakes earlier for the start finish line. So, eh, I think this is about a good enough starting point. Martinez, Martinez? Yeah, that's Martinez. And yeah, well, let's go. Let's get going and target through this. See how difficult this is going to be if I actually catch up to anyone. So watch this. Stay up high and partway through the corner, start going down low. And that's how you take this full throttle. See that? And I'm going to have a huge amount of speed. So i got to get on those brakes. See, I'm on the brakes before the start finish line. I don't want to have to slide this. I'd rather be able to stay. Oh, that wasn't optimal. Nuts, I'm wasting a bit. Okay, this is going to be okay, though. So on the brakes pretty early here. So keep it on track. And power through. That was pretty close to going off track. And for this braking point here, I'm surprised how far back I've got to get on the brakes. I mean, I shouldn't be, because it's an extremely fast car. And that's... Yeah, that wasn't optimal. So the nice thing about this is you start to see... It's hard to watch, though, where people are finishing. and really hard to keep your eyes on it. 115 for him so again this i can stay hooked up i got to start high stay high for a while part way through this corner you go down low quite low and then you got to let it go back up again and let's just see if i can take this properly without taking a massive cut 
Okay. Ooh, well, that was on track still. So I kept this all on track. Not sure if I can keep this full throttle now. That was interesting. Let's see if I can keep it pinned. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, the speed of this thing. No upgrades at all. And just look at this. Like four seventies. That is incredible. And I had, whoa, I had quite a lot of time to spare. Wow, that's surprising. Almost a two full second lead. One of my earlier attempts, they were a little bit faster, but then that's when I was doing it on the first lap. So definitely advantageous to do that on your second lap. Now this one drives me a little bit crazy. Um, average speed requirement, not a big deal. Let's see if we can keep this one all on track. Let's just see how easy that is to do. Ooh, really bad spot to hit him. Okay, and these guys, they're just in the worst spots. I mean, this would not happen in real life racing. If there was this many dead cars on the track, you'd be under caution speed, not having a, a minimum requirements of average speed. So very unrealistic goal here. People will die, <laughs> but well, we won't worry about that too much. Okay, that was nice. I'm happy with how I took that corner. So you get, you're gonna get guys really stacked up by these stopped cars. So don't worry about it. It's really not a very difficult stage, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't find it too difficult. Once you, you it mean, takes a bit to know where are these silly cars going to be and what are the bots gonna do when they encounter the cars. So because right here, in one of my earlier attempts, I was behind someone. I thought he was gonna hit the brakes. No, he just lane changed right in front of me and smashed me out of the way and I failed. So, yeah. Now we know what, there's gonna be a guy down here at the worst part. Like that's right where I wanna be down low. So there's not much I can do about that. And then we know there's gonna be a couple on the next section yet. Now I haven't met average speed, but that's not gonna matter. Okay. Ooh, a little bit off track there. Whoa, here's a gaggle. Oh, nuts. Oh boy. Okay, that was a gaggle all right. Let's get this down. Okay, I haven't hit average speed yet, but that's okay. I can easily avoid him. I'm in third place, which I don't want to pass this guy. There we go. Now I hit average speed. Okay. So I finished higher than I had to. I was just looking here. Dr. Periwinkle, but he was one of the dead cars. Um, I finished higher than I had to, but I really couldn't finish any lower because of my average speed requirement. So that's fine. Lap five opponents and win. Okay, that gets very interesting. So again, we're going to follow that same technique of go down low, especially this is the fastest way around the track, of course, is going down low at the beginning of a big corner like that. Oh my, this is going to be interesting. Three cars, I don't like that at all. Now, you can, that's not off track, believe it or not. None of this has been off track so far. I could have done that in a time trial just fine. Oh, there's still formation driving. That's interesting, I didn't expect that. Meaning he took this crazy line through that corner there take this pretty fast to see if they're still formation driving I don't think they are now by formation driving I mean one will be left one will be right one will be left one will be right and you can watch that and know exactly where you need to drive to avoid them okay we're gonna get a nice big head of steam here yeah I'm not sure how difficult this is gonna be it might be to my benefit just to lawnmower mode this go by around him Woo! That was some high-speed slipstreaming. Yeah, let's just lawnmower mode this. Got to be careful lawnmower mode at that speed. Oh, stayed off the wall. Now, the trouble with lawnmower mode is that I won't be able to take this full throttle. I'm not really sure how to take it, so I'm just going to go. He's going to be in the wrong spot for me anyway. Oh, my goodness, that was interesting. But I got there. Ooh, I'm going very fast. Going to get on those brakes early. Might have to drift it a bit. Let's see. No, I should be okay. Ooh, not an optimal way to take that corner. But, like, I'm still in second place and I have not passed anybody yet. Yeah, I don't like this very much. So, once I lap cars, I could give those back and still finish, but I think I still have to finish in, I'm pretty sure it was first place. Okay, well, hopefully, where is everybody? Where'd everybody go? Oh, there we go, got a flash. Should be seeing people pretty soon. I'm not seeing very many people. Okay, gonna go major lawnmower mode. Take this really fast. Starting up high, going down low, and then going back up high again and power down that hill. And let's just see what happens. Power through this. 
hopefully I can make it through the traffic. Woo, that was kind of fun. Well, now I'm way into first place, but I have one more car to pass. Where is he? He's way up there. You're gonna have to brake a little bit. Then, okay. Well, now I could be slowing down. So, but I don't, I'm not so sure if I let them pass me back. Yeah, I can let them pass me back. Just not the leader. Check this out. Whoa, that went by very fast. And that finishes up stage four, the Daytona stage. Let's see what we've got next. Mount Panorama. Ooh, leading a draft for 20 seconds. And you can't get overtaken. Now that's interesting. So you gotta get in 5,000 meters of slipstreaming and lead a draft for 20 seconds. That's interesting. Okay, well I'm gonna lawnmower mode this because I don't know how hard this is gonna be. Whoa! Wow. I was sure I heard a crack, but it didn't matter. I'm lawnmower moding this. Okay, I'm looking for someone who's fast. I want someone who's fast to get hooked up with my rear bumper. That's what I want. And I think I've got, I think I have another Absolute behind me. If not, it's a Yesco. Oh no, that's a Bugatti. Is it not? I'm pretty sure that's a Bugatti. Now you can't let anyone pass you. That's what's interesting. Ooh, boy. You gotta be careful here. I've already got 15 seconds in. So I'm gonna get all my leading in first. So to lead, you gotta watch your distance marker. You need him to be within about, like around 20. I was trying to see what that was forget what it was need to be there we go now I got that done now I don't have to worry about him so I'm gonna take this up high and break a little bit early and I can power through this nicely so you can start to drive away on him and if you go off track at this next corner you can shorten your braking distance a bit I didn't really do it that time let's power through this a little bit so now I got to get 5,000 meters of slipstreaming and let's <laughs> wall ride this which wasn't great but it, it's okay and uh, I think I have to finish this in seventh place, do I not? Either way, I definitely have to get in a whole bunch of slipstreaming yet. So where is everybody? Oh, there he is. Perfect. Okay, I'll stay with you. What are you? Oh, you should be a decent partner. If you... Actually, that's perfect. Not too fast, not too slow. Perfect. I like it. Okay, watch this. See that going by really fast? Of course, as you know, and maybe you don't know if you're new to this, that's not an accurate measurement. They're giving me 2.25 meters for every meter that I travel. So it's not accurate. The, uh, the unit of measurement, I let people guess a lot. This time I'll just say it. The unit of measurement is Roman cubits, which makes no sense. They have no idea how that ever happened, but that's what happened. It's like 44.444 centimeters, 17 point something inches. I forget exactly what it is now. Uh, it's really funny that it's this weird unit of measurement and they can't ever fix it because it would ruin all flashback events. It would make certain flashback events impossible. Uh, we had one NASCAR race where you had a slipstream for like 20,000 meters, I think it was, at Daytona, and there actually wasn't enough track length to even do that. So there are several races, there's several times we've had that where the slipstreaming requirement was longer than the race, so therefore it would be impossible. So they'll never fix this. If they do, they're going <laughs> to be in huge trouble. There'll be a huge outcry. So now I just got to stay in seventh place. Um, not sure if it was necessary to do the big lawnmower mode like you saw me doing, but oh well, I got the job done. Gosh, is this ever a fast car. He's catching up awful fast. Now this is a problem. I've got someone catching up to me very fast in a slower car in front of me, but we're going to be okay. It'd be bad if I had to do another lap this way, because you can't let anyone pass you. Okay, I'm going to let him catch up a little bit. Not a problem. Still, no upgrades. None at all. None required. All right, finish a lap under one minute and 30 seconds, or both laps. Okay, so check this out. Check this out. First thing we're going to do is stop and turn around. And I don't want to deal with all this traffic. And I don't want to finish in first place because there's no need to finish in first place because it didn't tell me to finish in first place. So I want to back up to a good starting point. I'm going to stay out of the way of the competition here and let them catch up a bit. Let's see here. Oh, looks like I'm still in the way. That's bizarre. What's he doing? All right, let's go 16 times regular speed and time to go. So we skipped a lot of time there. I sat there for quite a while. Like I said, that section was running at 16 times regular speed. So 
you could have sat there longer. I didn't see the need to sit there longer, but we'll just see how much of a problem this causes. Now you do have to be careful. It's very easy to get in trouble with this car because of the incredible speed. So it took me a little bit to figure out where those cars are going to be. So I had a, I just had to be willing to take a failure lap or two and figure out where those stupid cars are going to be. Again, this would never exist in real life. You would never be forced to advance when there are dead cars on the track because that's going to kill people. So this would be a caution lap or a red flag even when you have dead cars stuck on the track. Anyway, at least a yellow flag. So let's see, the next guy's gonna be right, he's right at the perfect spot actually to be in the way. Oh, there was someone else tangled up with him, that's funny. And then coming down, ooh, tag that wall. Coming down here, there's someone in the way but he's really easy to get around him. But then we've got one more guy in the way who's again at the perfectly wrong spot. So you gotta be very careful hitting this breaking point here. And I think I totally blew it, oh nuts. I totally blew that breaking point. That was not a planned cut. For that to be a planned cut, I would have been taking that way faster and started my turn earlier. That was a waste of time, not a benefit. But I still finished in time. Uh, I'm gonna have someone to contend with. Oh well, oh, nuts, tag the wall. Lovely, that's not what we wanted. So the bigger problem is how these guys handle traffic. It's not hard for us to handle traffic because we know where it is, but what are they gonna do? That's where I get a little bit nervous. Dale, he got around him just fine. What is he doing? That's a weird race line. Let's go slip this corner. That's a wall ride. Bit of an advanced technique. Probably not necessary, but I kind of wrecked my first corner on this lap. So I thought, well, maybe I better make up some time. Just so I, if I have to, I can give up time later. Because I have a feeling there's going to be there's going to be a stack of bots coming up here. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a horrible mess coming up. They're all going to get hung up here. Oh, grinding that wall nicely. Okay, Bugatti Bolide. Very nice. Should be able to hook up with him, I hope. Oh, or he's going to take off because I'm late to the throttle. No catching that Bolide. Oh, ooh, not expected, not expected at all. I can't afford to wait. Okay, oh boy. Mr. Senna GT. Oh, a regular Senna maybe? Oh, I blew it again. Oh gosh, guys. That is not a good cut. One minute, 22, 23, 24, I'm nervous. Let's, let's cut this, I'm nervous. 28, oh, 29. That was way too close. So with proper driving, you don't need to do all that. If you just do what I did, give them a lead. Make sure they got a good chunk in front of you. This is, these are kind of fun. Win by going the opposite direction. And there's no rules, uh, nothing about staying on track. So I am not gonna be staying on track because why bother when there's no rules? Just go for it. Again, this would never happen in real life. You'd never be told, go the opposite direction while someone else is on track heading towards you because if you collide, everyone's dead. You're not surviving this. You know, collision, our, our impact speed could easily be 800 kilometers an hour. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna blast through this chicane coming up. I'm not gonna take it properly. I'm just gonna go flying off track. And I think I know where I will encounter him because we've had this exact requirement before at this exact track. So most likely there's a, there's a slight dog leg here, but then there's gonna be a bit of a left. That's usually where you end up encountering the competition. So you wanna be on the inside of this, quite on the inside. There he is, perfect. Oops, and then I did that. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, and then the next chicane can easily blow through that. Break a little bit for this. Uh, there we go. Easily blow through this chicane. But you got to watch the first chicane, or in this instance, the last one. But the that's where we've got to be careful, because there's actually it's actually much more ziggy zaggy than it seems when oh when you encounter it normally. So I'm going to slow down quite a lot. Try to get a nice. There we go. That's decent. Okay, I don't know where he's going to be. I kind of like it if we had a head-on collision right after I crossed the start-finish line, but we'll just see what happens here. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, ooh, that was really close. Almost did crash. Now, back at Mount Panorama. This one's interesting. First lap, be in 10th place. Second lap, 5th place. Third lap, 3rd place. Well, no, you might fail if you're any higher than 10th place. So here's the problem. There's a bunch of slow cars up here. 
and there's a bunch of fast cars that want to get around them. And that can definitely cause problems in future laps. So I'm going to take this car out. That was a careful pit maneuver, no damage there. I'd like to see faster cars in front of me. I'm not really happy with that Lamborghini there. Oh boy, that's not very good. You also don't want them to be stuck behind you very long. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, what a nuts. I let a Porsche go by. And another Porsche right on my bumper. Well, we'll just see. Some of those Porsches are very fast. Like, they corner well. So, maybe this is just what I've got to work with. Oh, that's not a good idea. Okay, now this is just dumb. I'm trying to stack him up. I want the Koenigsegg to get around the Porsche. That's what I would like. Ah, uh, come on, man. Go, go, go. No, no, you're all over the place. I'd really like him to get around the Porsche. I don't know if he will. Okay, I might have to help the situation a little bit. I, I can't be in 11th, that's for sure. I've got to be up in 10th place. I don't really need to lawnmower mode this. Bang! Oh, that's lovely. Okay, now I'm in 12th place. Oh, boy. Well, isn't this a bit of a disaster? And the Lamborghini gets around the Koenigsegg. Well, time for me to get around the Koenigsegg and just forget about this whole thing. And get on with my next requirement. Okay, grind past him. Now I gotta smash my way up into fifth place very quickly. Um, yeah, I've caused a bit of a problem here. So, let's get a little bit crazy. I think we're gonna do some wall riding, some pretty aggressive wall riding. I'm going to aggressively wall ride the very, the, this corner here. Oh, nope, there's too many guys in the way. Forget that. I better wall ride the next one, though. I mean, I'm going to make a lot of positions up. Now, don't forget, I've got aggressive lawnmower mode I can use. Oh, my front end caught the wall. Nuts. Whatever I gained, I lost. Oh, but they're all stacked up. Huh. I'm surprised. I was not expecting this. Okay, get around him. Ah, that's the old Yesco. Ooh, FXXK. Perhaps Evo, I believe. Don't want to get damaged. Uh, nuts. Oh, good. That's wonderful. And here you go. There's my indicator that I'm playing this a little bit late. Nasty little wall ride there. Wasn't great, but you can tell that it was actually faster than what he did because he's got incredible acceleration. Now, there's my... Well, there we go. So I'm in fifth place just like that. Get on the brakes nice and early here. Valkyrie to contend with. That's going to be a very fast car, and I'm not taking this very well, but that's okay. Right now, I just need fifth place. Mr. Valkyrie, oh, nuts. Actually nervous having a Valkyrie on my bumper as I head to the last corner, so I took it wrong to block the corner. Ah, he's not as fast as I thought. That's surprising. Valkyries are really fast cars. Mind you, he's... Oof, boy. Okay, now i got to get my way up to third place. So... Blast, 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 fast, fast, fast. I think I can take this normally. And then I can take the next corner aggressively. That's a Porsche, is it not? Some of those Porsches are very fast. Could be wrong, but I think that's a Porsche. That was horrible. That was not a good wall ride at all. Very, very clumsy. I, I know what you guys are saying. I mean, why are you wall riding at all? How is this? Yeah, it's not racing. I agree. I'm doing this with no upgrades, but... It, ooh, nuts! Okay, well, I definitely am going to have maximum... No, blah, 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 blah. This is horrible. Uh, I almost want to redo the race, but I'm not going to. I will simply wall ride coming up. And if I have to, lawnmower mode at the end. Let's get a good wall ride here. That's a good wall ride. And if I have to, I go major lawnmower mode, which it looks like I have to. He's a ways out there. Okay, let's go major lawnmower mode. Get myself into third place here. There we go. Nice lawnmower mode. Now I can slow down. Yes. Try to control this. Woo! Off track. I was on the brakes way too late. Nice. Nice. Looks crazy, but it was nice. Okay, this is it. Night race at Mount Panorama. Now that's interesting. I haven't done this very much. So that really can affect, if you're used to using, oh boy, certain um, indicators for breaking points, that can get interesting when it's all dark and you can't really see people. Wow. 
We'll see if I have to go off track or not. I'm gonna see how much I, I'm gonna just see how this feels. Keeping it on track to start. Blast through this, what do we have here? Blast by him. All sorts of fast cars. We've seen uh, Hennessy Venoms, Chiron's, uh, Veyron's, some uh, Yesco's, uh, Regueras. I think, I think there was a one-to-one. -one. I could be wrong about that, but I thought there might have been a one-to-one -one out there somewhere. Uh, certainly Porsches, 918's, and um, yeah, lots of car variety, Aston Martins. So we've had quite a lot of variety out here. Porsche right there, nice. And then on the brakes early here, so I can power through on the brakes very early coming up here. Oh boy, there's a gaggle. Oh yes, and the Ferrari FXXK Evo. See if I can get around some of these guys. I'd really like to, but I really want to power down the mountain nicely. So I'm not going to worry about this too much because I'm going to be able to pass a bunch of guys going down here. They're going to get slowed up down. What do we got there? I usually would smack that guy, but the Senna was blocking nicely, so I'm going to leave him alone. Get on these brakes really early. Early enough? Oh, no. That was definitely a problem. And that's a problem. No, that wasn't off track. Okay, so I gave up some there. But still, so that was off track, but it was off track that really hurt me. I did, it didn't gain. Okay, five more positions to go and one more lap to do it in. Can I do this on track? I mean, it's not critical, but we'll just see. By the way, I forgot to mention this. There was a Daytona stage where it said no off track, and you saw me going way off track. So they oopsed, and it was definitely to our advantage that they made that oops, which is, I'm not going to complain. Okay, here we've got a Yesco. Oh, boy. Little bit into the walls there, not much. Four more positions to go. And there we go, able to keep that full throttle. This slight little tap there, and then little tap here. What do we have? I think that's another Koenigsegg. Oh, I'm gonna go off track here though. Yeah. Nice. I mean, not that it was nice that I went off track, but oh well. I wanna finish this race. I don't wanna do this again. Evo? Is that not an Evo? I, as an FXXK Evo? Well, that's third and second place. So, I probably should lawnmower mode this. I don't want to do this again. Yeah, let's lawnmower mode it, baby. Oh, he was right there. Oh, well. And there we go. That is going to finish off this event. And I'm going to get into all the earnings yet. I'm curious how much I earned actually during the races. Okay, well, I don't want to add up all the fame, and I forgot to take note of how much I had before I started. But I'll tell you, I earned $277,420 R dollars for doing the races. Then, of course, I earned a quarter million R dollars and 100 gold, and this monster card that's worth a massive amount of gold. So, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you have the find these tips helpful. Drop a comment if you want some help. I'll try to answer and other people will probably also answer. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye now.